the much more interesting tactic here, which I think Donald Trump is the single best in the world at, is social media. Social media is how Donald Trump spent less than every single Republican on television or a campaign and won a nomination that literally no one expected him to have. In the United Kingdom in 2015, 73% of all undecided voters made up their mind in the final week using social media what their friends and family said. Barack Obama became the first president since Richard Nixon in 1972 to win a majority of the undecided. When you asked them why, 82% said they were contacted on social media by a friend or family member. That authentication in this age of cynicism, in this age of anger, is way more important than a slogan. I agree with Peter. I think slogan is way over uh, rot for what this is. A slogan is a definition of your message. But the much more interesting thing for people here is how that message is being delivered. And that message is now being delivered in a way that people can no longer control. In the old days, you'd have a, a daily press clip. We now measure, uh, on both Matt and I, measure our, our campaign's effectiveness every five minutes on social media. When Barack Obama lost to Mitt Romney in the first debate, we went back and realized that the press had decided in the eighth minute on Twitter that we had lost the debate and wrote all their stories before the eighth minute was done of a 90 minute debate. That is the power of social media. Social media is just transforming every aspect of life. Um, the positive side of social media in US politics is that in all of my years in politics, social media is really the first thing that I, I've seen come along that actually provides real campaign finance reform. And that goes to, to Jim's point, it levels the playing field where people are able to get across their message in a much cheaper form. And people are going around, voters are going around the traditional media to find out their information and news. I think the term slogan is antiquated. Um, and not to take any greatness away from make, a great, make America great again, um, but it, it's been his mastery, Donald Trump's mastery of social media, owning two to three news cycles a day using his Twitter handle is just amazing. What about what happened earlier this week with the war veterans? Yeah, again. With I, Trump. Again, Mr. Trump and his ability to be the news. You know, he went out and told uh, American media outlets that he was going to um, have a new position or have make news on whether or not President Obama was born in the United States, the birther issue. And he got every major cable news outlet in our country to follow from beginning to end this campaign event that he did that, that was totally focused on bringing up military veterans to endorse and support his candidacy. And then in the final closing seconds after every cable had gone live, he said, oh yeah, by the way, I might have been wrong about the birther deal. It was brilliant. He's owning them. He's manipulating them. Um, and, you know, they played right into it throughout our, our primary. They gave him the platform on top of his own Twitter platform, and he just dominated U.S. politics. You can disagree with his message, and I'm sure many in this room do, but you cannot disagree or take away his ability to use communications.